Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. We help ambitious men end their out-of-control sexual behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation so that you can maximize your life, perform at your potential, and remain in control in the driver's seat, which is where you have to be in order to gain or maintain the success you want in life. I'm your host, JK Amazie, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today we're going to be responding to a question by a gentleman who follows the system. And excellent, excellent question. This was in response to one of my videos out there on the stages of recovery from porn addiction. And his question was, I don't understand why having a coach or even having accountability will speed up the recovery process. He says all it does is increases your likelihood of success not speeding up recovery. Again, he's saying that all it does when you have a coach and when you have accountability is that all this does is that it increases your likelihood of success, but it does not speed up your recovery. And he says if you can somehow stay away from pornography and masturbation for a while without the aforementioned coaching and accountability, he says you will heal just as well as those who had accountability and a coach. And I think this is such a great question because this brother, he verbalizes a subconscious thought that a lot of men have, that I don't need coaching and accountability because I understand the biological process of porn addiction. I understand how it works and what I understand and what I have chosen to take from everything I've learned is that the brain rewires itself. I understand the concepts of neuroplasticity and I just need to stay away from it long enough my brain to rewire. So I'm going to respond to this gentleman. When he says that, you know, he doesn't understand why having a coach or accountability will speed up the recovery process, that's kind of like saying you don't understand why having a teacher or a lecturer will speed up the education process. See, a coach has seen the movie before. That's the phrase I like to use. He knows what's going to happen. And he or she will let you know what to avoid will teach you coping strategies for certain situations which you would not know how to handle on your own because he's experienced them, right? Accountability keeps you out of shame, which holds you back. It reminds you that you are not alone on this journey and it gives you hope that you can recover because you see other men going through the same struggle. Now he says, and I quote, if you somehow stay away from pornography and masturbation. Now the key word there is somehow. That's the mistake that millions of men make, thinking that you can use willpower, also known in this case as the power of somehow, to end your behavior. Very few men can do this with willpower. He also says, and again I quote, that you will heal just as well as those who had accountability or those who had a coach, right? So here's the thing. Addiction to pornography and masturbation isn't just about healing, right? Isn't just about rewiring your brain. It's not a simple process. So some men will read about your brain rewiring in a book and they're like, cool. All right. So my brain needs to rewire. And all I need to do is if I stay away from porn and masturbation, it's going to rewire and I'm good. No. In the process of engaging in this compulsive behavior, you lose relationships, time, clarity of judgment, your values are eroded, the ability to communicate with women without objectifying them, that's gone. Your self-esteem, so much more is lost to this behavior. So ending your behavior and rewiring your brain does not magically return these things to you. The right coach will teach you how to regain what you lost to your addiction, right? So that's my response to that. But here's the interesting thing that I found out today. The response I gave earlier was I'm more or less paraphrasing my response to him so as not to get too deep into it, but he responded again. (laughs) And it's also good because, again, he verbalized a subconscious belief that a lot of men have. So he said he's not disputing anything I said. He just feels that my statement was not really 
accurate. He doesn't feel it's accurate, right? So he says that everyone who's aware of this agrees that the recovery timeline is a function of how much pornography was used in the past. This is what he's saying. And the collateral damage that it has caused to the person's brain and the person's life in general. And he believes that the cure is staying away from porn and masturbation for an extended period of time, hopefully forever, to allow the brain's neuroplasticity to take its effect. All right. So he also says, granted, factors such as physical exercise, cold showers, good nutrition, and so on serve as catalysts. However, he acknowledges that there are multiple hurdles along the recovery process, which often leads to relapse, especially when the person is uninformed about the reboot process. So he says, finally, and I'm not skipping anything, I'm literally reading his response. He says, perhaps having a coach may prevent relapsing unnecessarily in these instances. I guess what I'm trying to say, he says, is that the key factor here is information rather than having a coach or not, right? So he also says, he ends it with saying, I'm not a willpower advocate, quite the opposite. So I'm just going to respond to that one right now as we have it in front of us. He's talking about information. He's trying to say that the key factor here is information rather than having a coach or not. Gentlemen, there is free information everywhere. Literally in today's world, there's information on how to do anything you want to do. We have access to more information than any of our ancestors had access to. You can get a PhD education in almost anything. You can learn how to be wealthy. You can learn how to manage stocks. You can learn different languages. You can learn how to farm. You can learn how to start a city. You can learn how to lead a large group of, you can learn anything, yet millions of men still struggle with this behavior. Information is not enough. We have so much information, yet we are probably the most unhappy generation of human beings that ever lived, right? The truth is that informed or not, men will still slip and relapse due to cognitive dissonance. Rationalization, intellectualization, like this gentleman is doing, justification, black and white thinking, and so on. So a man who could recover within two years then instead spends years, in my experience, often decades, playing all these rationalizing justification and intellectualizing games. A professional coach will keep you on the road to recovery till your brain rewires. And this is not increasing the likelihood, as he calls it, that one can still recover, right? Over the course of a few decades. Instead, it ensures that the recovery process is completed within the most biologically expedient time. And using the porn reboot system, that would be a year and a half to two years. And this is based on almost a decade of my recovery coaching experience. So I hope that answers the question or the belief in some cases that some men have that, you know what, even men that listen to this podcast, like you might be telling yourself subconsciously, I'm just gathering information and I can do this on my own. It may take me a little while longer, but I'm going to do it. One thing that men don't understand, and I tell this to every man who is enrolled in our program, the day they come in, I tell them, when you come into this program, we're really going to keep you accountable at the front end. If you don't show up to something, we're going to check in with you. We want to find out where you are, why you've not been participating, because we live in a different world. We're not one of those programs who say like, you know what, in the intensive program, you come in, we're going to give you everything. If you participate, that's great. If you don't participate, then whatever, you know, you, you threw away your investment. We're not like that because we understand what it's like to be a porn addict. We understand what it's like to consume lots of information and get really jaded. We understand that some men are aware of many of the things that we speak about. We understand how difficult it is to stay disciplined and stick to one thing and see it through. We understand the impact that this behavior has had on your prefrontal cortex and other biological functions. And so we keep you accountable. We take you all the way. That way, when you come into the program, you don't take the information that you have for granted. 
you don't repeat the habits and patterns that you may have exhibited in other courses with other therapists and groups and other modalities, we want to make sure you don't do that again. That this time you come in and you actually use the information, you stick to it, we keep you compliant so you don't go running off and getting all sorts of information from different places. We're like, commit to the system and you are going to get the results that we here at Porn Reboot promise you, which is 90 days to control your behavior and your brain will rewire in a year and a half to two years. And we've been around for a while. It is literally, there are a few negative things said about us here and there as there is with everybody else, but it's very difficult to find anything but positive reviews and evidence which shows that what we do actually works. But it only works with the right men and the men who use the information we give them and implement it in the correct way. So I feel like I'm about to go on a ramble. I'm going to stop it right there. I hope you found that helpful. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week. If you found this episode helpful, here are four ways I can help you with your out of control sexual behavior for free. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men at elevatedrecovery.org or visit the link in the description below this episode. The second way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals and business owners who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's a link to join in the description below this episode. The third way is if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally or emotionally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this episode that says free coaching call. And the fourth way is to leave us a five-star review if you enjoy this podcast so that we can reach more men who are struggling in silence and bring back the lessons we learn from coaching them to freedom. 